The worst couples ever. What's going on guys, Shot Clips here once again, and it's going to show some mod clips of the worst couples I can find, but in this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess we have this couple, they decide to do a loyalty test, and the girl decides to call up her guy best friend to see if he would reject her or not if she invited him over. Like I always say on this channel, guy best friends just don't exist, if you give them the opportunity, they would say yes, and I guess this is what happened. How long have you guys been dating for? A little over two years now. Do you guys think it's possible to have guy friends when you're in a relationship? I don't think so, guys just have different intentions. What do you think? I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna pick a card from this game, they have some risky text in here, and basically I'm gonna have you call one of your closest guy friends and see how they react. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's do this thing. I got a question. Uh, shoot. Do you care if I sleep over tonight? My mom's uh, like been up my I mean, yeah, probably, but like, don't you got a boyfriend? Yeah, but I mean, we're just friends, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my apartment's messy as f I got cat hair all over the couch. And f so, like, you probably have to, like, sleep in my room with me, for real. Okay. All right, bet. All right. <laughs> See you later. Bye. What do you think? You know, I think it's just weird that, you know, he wants you to stay in his bed with him. Um, so could you just, like, block him now? No, that's so mean. He's my best friend. In this next one, I really do feel bad for this guy. Apparently, this ex was sitting across his girl. And so another guy decides to come in, and, and these girls decide to absolutely flame him. I really do feel bad. Oh, is that, is that you? Oh, is that not your boyfriend? Oh, you're kind of cute. And this next one's absolutely pathetic. This guy shouldn't have cried. Basically, these couples decide to ask each other a question. Would they decide to stay together if they cheated? Listen to what his response was. To be honest, I kind of get what he's saying, but the fact that he's crying and doesn't really have any self-respect for himself is where the problem lies. Never deal with the cheater. That's absolutely ridiculous. And this next one, I absolutely found it hilarious, and I can't believe this woman really just said this and thinks there's no problem with it. Basically, she says in order for her to marry someone, he must buy her two houses, one for her and one for her husband, and they're going to live separately. I'm not sure who would ever agree to doing that, Forget the money part. The fact that you're living in a separate house and you're not sleeping together is absolutely insane to me. Not only that, I don't even want to be in the same household. I want a two separate household marriage. So Wait, you want a what? I want, <laughs> I want a two separate household marriage. Um, don't, don't judge me because... Uh, I'm just listening. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to judge you in a minute. All right. I just, I just, I just need to hear... Right, so oh the judge and coming i just need to hear all the facts so you right. want a, you want a two household marriage yes. okay correct okay. um he knows a little bit that i don't want the kids he doesn't know yet that i want the separate household marriage so before he moves out here to la uh i hadn't told him yet so i don't know if he's gonna go for it so I'm asking you from a man's standpoint, uh, what do you think? This next one is guys, this woman, good guys or bad guys. And for the first time, we actually have a woman who makes sense. There should be a lot more like her. Do you think a lady remembers the guy who treats her like more than the guy who treats her right? Uh, the guy that treats her right. Why do you think that? Because it like gets, I don't know, makes you sentimental. And why do nice guys finish last? What? Why do nice guys finish last? Because Have you ever played hard to get for a guy you really liked? Yes. Why? Because initially I thought he only wanted me for one thing and that was just like to sleep with it and get it over with. Mm -hmm. So like I have this thing in my head where you play hard to get and if they, they're still chasing you to a certain point then you know that they don't they just don't want to sleep with you yeah they want a deeper connection this next one's guy i guess is reading a chat from one of his fans of i guess the worst time she ever caught her man cheating this is actually what ended up happening it's the worst valentine's day gift you've ever received i was hiding at home as a surprise he brought another girl home instead <laughs> Yeah, that's horrible, yeah. but don't surprise me with nothing. A set of PJs that was size 20, I'm a size 12 to 14. He said it'd be more comfy. So what he's saying is, I know you wear 12 to yeah, 14. Yeah. The wear imprints in your skin are yeah. telling me. Do you want to give me a kiss no. on the cheek? A kiss on the cheek. No. Oh, yeah. This next one, this guy is so down bad in this friend zone. I think he should get out immediately. What would he have to do for him to get you as his girl? Oh, that's hard because we're friends. So we've been friends for so long. We wouldn't have ruined it like that. 
No, we're friends. Shit, that's what she said. Wow, man. Uh... And this next one, it's similar to the topic I said before, but basically this girl decided to break up with her boyfriend all because you was such a goody goody. Apparently if you treat them too good, they will literally end it with you, which is absolutely insane to me. What's the number one mistake guys make in a relationship? Next question, cheat. Why did you and your ex break up? Oh, oh dude, we're getting deep. Um, That's what we're doing. Well, well, he didn't cheat. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I like your eyebrows. What's the truth behind their breakup? I mean, look, Miko was a good boy. He was, he was good. really nice. He it was a good didn't boy. Work out. It just didn't work it didn't work out. In this section, we have this woman who decides to say that if a man is at a certain age and doesn't have kids, it's actually deemed as a red flag. I'm not sure why that's the case. If you're not married, you shouldn't have kids. No one's trying to pay child support for no reason. It makes no sense. I got no kids. I got I got my own motion going on. Flag. Huh? What? Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. What you about to say? Why the... Listen, I know, like, having... Where marriage is bad, but it's 2022. Like, what has gone on in your life that you have not had a kid? I don't have kids. You're different. Like, but for men, it's just kind of like, why don't you have a kid? What happens? Because I don't, I don't want a kid yet. Re I'm responsible. <laughs> in this section, we have this clip of these women who are pretty much asked the question, how much percent of men have yachts? This is what they decide to say. And it's pretty obvious that these women are absolutely stupid. And I don't think they realize how statistics work and how much that percent is of all men. I saw this on Hinge. What percentage yeah, a, of men do you think have yachts? Oh, mm, like, I don't oh. know, like... Yeah, pretty low, maybe 9%. 9% of men have On yachts. Hinge? You think 9% of men have yachts? Is that no thing that you've been through relationship wise? Him cheating on me. You are cheating on me. No, I didn't did that to <laughs> yes. get back at home back. And this next woman absolutely pissed me off. She's super entitled to the point where she says she doesn't want to do a coffee date anymore. I'm not sure why she's any different than any other woman or why she deserves it any differently. No guy's going to try impressing you that much on the first date. They're not going to try spending a lot of money just trying to get to know you. That's not the point of the date. Coffee or a walk is a possible date option and neither should you. Gentlemen, be very wary of these women who are very high maintenance. This woman or any other woman who thinks that they are entitled to something just because of their looks or even something else is just ridiculous. So yes, I do agree that a walk date is pretty lame, but coffee date, nothing wrong with that, especially for the first date. If you don't drink alcohol and you don't want to sit down across from someone and get dinner or spend a lot of money on dinner, and I bet you this woman probably wants a very fancy restaurant, it is completely acceptable to go on a coffee date for your very first date and save dinner down the line. You're going to let her sleep around all throughout college in her 20s while you're sacrificing your 20s, stacking your bread, working out, doing all the right things just to marry her and get half your wealth taken a few years in? Come on, man. Makes me sick to my stomach. In this next one, I do appreciate this woman's honesty and her answer, but she decides to give an answer about what's too high for a body count. How many bodies does a girl have to have to be called a hoe? More than eight. More than eight? Why you say that? Because I'm 50 and more than eight makes you hoe-ish. So you're telling me you got less than eight bodies? No, I'm a hoe. <laughs> 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 In this next one, this woman decides to state something she did for money, and I'm gonna be honest, guys, she definitely did stuff a lot worse in the past if this is really the case. What's the craziest thing that you've done for money? Um, so at an abandoned place, I gave a BJ to some dude that I didn't know for some views pods and like uh five bottles of vodka in this next one we have this couple i guess this guy decides to do a loyalty test on them and i guess this guy was just cheating on his girlfriend this is how they acted i can't believe he decided to do this nonchalantly and not really care i guess he was just looking for a way out the entire time and this was it how long have you guys been together three years you guys trust each other yeah you think it's actual love yeah no okay would you swap phone yeah yeah go on then Mine's dead. whose phone is this it's my phone what's the message hey babe we already know each other are you talking to other girls can i go please i'm done with him now see huh? walk off we're not walk together off. anymore we've been together for three years walk off. i don't care you could change to the opposite sex for the day no 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 actually no impossible impossible Nope. In this next one, I really do feel bad for this woman. Basically, I guess she decides to drive an hour away just to find out that the man she was trying to visit has a whole wife. I'm not sure how long she's been seeing this man for, but the fact that he was able to hide a whole wife is absolutely insane to me. And of course, she's obviously heartbroken. Who wouldn't be? But I do hope that wife kind of divorced him because, well, he was cheating on her the entire time. 
guess what? Y'all saw my stories. You see my love story panning out on TikTok. Who would have ever thought that I'd pop up on my boyfriend and um, his wife answers the door. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he has a whole wife. He's been married. She said they celebrated seven yeah. years. Yeah. And this man's still texting me right now. He couldn't come outside. This woman was like, I was wondering. She said, I was wondering who was born in your phone. She, she was blaming me. said that I knew. This man has lived a double life. For five months we've been together. A double life. This man has pretended to love me and to court me. And uh, we just came back from Vegas. Y'all saw the trip we was laughing and joking about. And I'm so happy that I waited for so many things. And I'm, I feel sorry for her because she stuck with him. I'm gone. But mm. it's just another lesson for who would ever thought. Why me? I'm in shock. I was so happy. I was... <laughs> Popping on the love of supposedly love of my life. <laughs> like, be careful out here, women. These men are terrorists. Be careful out here and um pray for me, please. Now from the worst clip on the list, guys, we have this woman who's literally flirting with another man while waiting in the stall for her baby daddy. I'm not sure if there's a boy and girl bathroom. I don't know why she's waiting in the boy's bathroom, but the fact that she is doing it and talking to someone else while literally waiting for a man to finish is pretty crazy. Well, that's it for you guys. So much for watching, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.